It's only a four, but it's still a 61. We've never, ever been able to say that before. A 61 on the old course, a new course record. Fabulous exhibition by the Englishman. I think any record is special, but when you're talking about a golf course like St Andrews, the home of golf, where it basically started, you know, you ask anyone who knows anything about golf, one of the very first courses that they will mention is the old course at St Andrews, because it is such a historic place. On the final day of the 2017 Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, Ross Fisher etched his name into the golfing history books with a record low score of 61, 11 under par for the old course at St Andrews. Eight shots adrift of overnight leader Tyrrell Hatton, Fisher's only focus was to try and close the gap. I knew there was obviously a low one out there. Turning up, there wasn't much breeze. I think it was a slightly different direction. So just went out there with the mindset of just trying to shoot as low as I could. I knew I was kind of playing for second place, third place. I started solid on the on the front and um, you know got into a nice nice run. I think it was I think I barely two, three, four and then hit two lovely shots into the fifth. Oh man, how do you stop? That's unbelievable. You can't land a three wood like that. That's a fantastic shot. Had about eight, 10 feet for eagle there to go, I think it was five or six under after five, didn't manage to make it, and then finished with uh, three birdies on seven, eight, nine to go out in 29. So obviously I knew I was not really in with a, a shout of winning, but I thought, come on, let's, let's try and keep the momentum going and uh, try and do similar to the front nine on the back nine. A relatively modest pair of pars followed at the 10th and 11th, but it was merely a lull in a storming round. With the bit well and truly between his teeth, another glut of gains lay waiting just around the corner. Had a real nice birdie on, on, on 12 there. Hit a really nice pitch in there. 13, hit a lovely second shot in there. Made a good birdie. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. 14, uh, made a really nice up and down there on the par five, because it's one of those par fives where you feel like you should be making birdie, but it's not a given. And then to hit two lovely shots into 15 and knock that one in, thinking, right, I've got three holes to go here. Let's see if I can and finish strong. And I don't even think it really entered my mind. You know, I obviously knew I was shooting well, but at the same time, I was still trying to stay um, in the present, focusing on one shot at a time. Um, and I knew I was, I was still quite a long way behind Tyrrell, but just trying to finish the round off strong, really. A par at 16 interrupted the hot streak, then, like so many before him, Fisher found a spot of bother at the road hole. It slightly put me off on my downswing, someone shouting in the back of my, uh, in the back of my swing, and just slightly got ahead of it, got a little bit trapped and stuck, and pushed it out to the right, and thought it was going to catch the edge of the green, and then, obviously, when I saw it trickle off the green, I thought, oh, it's only just trickled off, it might be in the upslope, but then, obviously, to find it where it was, it was kind of lucky that where it had finished, could have, it could have ended up on the path, which, you know, could have posed all sorts of problems. But, um, yeah, it was one of those shots where you want to get up there and hit it relatively quick because you don't want to have too much time to think about it. It felt quite comfortable, but you never know what the turf's going to be like, if it's going to be real, real firm and, and rock hard or slightly soft. So kind of played slightly away from the pin just to give myself that little bit of leeway and as soon as I struck it I knew I'd hit it perfectly and left myself a nice sort of eight, eight footer up the hill slightly right to left putt and obviously managed to, to keep the round going. Obviously standing on 18 I knew if I can make birdie I can shoot 60 here or if I make eagle I shoot 59 I think I'd just watched Tyrrell come up um, on 17 and then it was my go to hit and I knew if I hit a good one, I could knock it on the green because on the, it was the Friday, I had a good drive there and knocked it on the green. So just tried to hit a slightly lower ball flight and I hit it. And as soon as I hit it, I thought that's got a chance. And it wasn't until I got home uh, and watched the highlights, I saw it go all the way up 
to almost onto the top of the green and then it just rolled back, which obviously was a shame, but hey, I still had a, had a chance. Walking up there, um, obviously trying to make the putt for a two. Um, felt like I hit a really good putt there. Gave it a lot of break and just came up a little bit shy. That's a great attempt, but not quite the line. That's a really good attempt. But it will be a new course record on the old course for Ross Fisher. Of all the great players in the history of the game who have played this great course, no one has ever shot better than 62 before. Today, Ross Fisher has. It was kind of kicking myself after I finished to miss such a, a short putt, but I think after, you know, not hitting it on the green and giving myself a chance for a two to make 59, almost like everything had been kind of zapped out of the body, almost, was kind of a bitter sweet ending to what was such a great and historic round for me shooting 61 but I suppose at the same time I know now that I can shoot better so I guess there's a kind of good that comes with missing a short putt but hey I'm not gonna you know sit there and, and talk to you and grumble that I've shot 61 around the old course at St Andrews so yeah it was it was nice to create a bit of history you know to be in the in the history books as having the course record there it's obviously amazing. Something that I'll, I'll remember for a, for a very long time or until it gets bro uh, broken. It's a nice thing to say you've got the course record at the home of golf. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet.